Hey everybody, Cool Pika here, and welcome to a bonus episode of Let's Play Earthbound. We have defeated Gygas, and now the war with Gygas is now over. However, and now the world has changed, and is at peace now. And this video will discuss all the changes to the world of Earthbound after Gygas has been defeated. I will be covering every scene, and every scene you need to know about the, what happens in the ending of Earthbound, and every location because a lot happens. So, here's this is how this is going to work. Basically, what's going to happen is, I will... Whatever i shown in the finale, which I've likely did, like the simple stuff, I will not be covering because I've already gone over that. So, yeah. And also, I have actually done a recording of this before, but however, what happened was that... Somehow my record... Somehow the record... I actually did actually did a video of this on Monday, but however, um, something the my then however my cat my cat my cat card just randomly decided to crash, so it took a while to recover that. So yeah, I I had I did use the guide. I'm probably I'm still I'm gonna use the guide because um who knows I've likely remembered everything. <laughs> Hopefully there is. Okay, so here the so let's start off saying what happens when you say no to Paula. Well then. I'll escort you. Even though you're gonna be following us the whole time. Yep, pretty much. Now, to start things off, we'll kick things off in Saturn Valley to start off simple. We've already talked to Jeff and we already talked to Jeff, but let's see what happens when you talk to Dr. Adonis. It's a miracle! A miracle that only happened because of your great courage! Believe me, I went through a lifetime's worst of stress while you're gone. I just wish I could have come with you as a robot. I should have used the face distorter. What a story that would have been. Scientist and four kids save the world. <laughs> now, when you talk to the Apple Kid, he'll say this: The chance of Gygas gaining victory with his monstrous plan is 99%. However, your courage has produced a 1% chance that Gygas fails. I must come to an understanding understanding of this trait called courage. Now, if you talk to the mouse, it was it was in winter when we last met. I just got here. Oh. Yeah, hello there, Mr. Mouse. If you talk to this guy... INCREDIBLE! EXCELLENT! I'm not quite sure what for, but congratulations on the job well done! If we ever get a chance to get together again, let's go on a picnic or something. Maybe we can play horse... Maybe horseshoes too! Sorry about the store points. We've already covered the presents, so we won't go over those. You just... You want to know what the Zarya go ahead and you go watch the finale if you haven't watched it yet, so you can always check that. And also, when, now we're going to go to the Hot Springs of Saturn Valley. In the Hot Springs of Saturn Valley, there's some details there you should know. Hold on, I'm, I'm pulling up a guide just to make it. Alright, in Saturn Valley. Okay, now Mr. Saturns do want to invent. If you go to the Mr. Saturns in Hot Springs, they'll say around stuff like this. Appreciate! I'm so happy, happy! Zoom! Dakota! Uh, yeah, Miss Dennis. Does Mrs. Saturn is near the hospital? Receives all scenes like. I'll say all scenes like Dakota. Dakota, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's something a little silly right there. It's like a little derpy scene. Now. Now that's. That's pretty much most of. That's pretty much all the changes in Mr. Saturn Valley, so. There really much to go on here. I think they're saying different things from now. Happy doing more happy happy ding ding. My more happy boo boos. Okay, so yeah. Now this literally has anything nothing to do with the. Uh, excuse me, but when we go here on the phone, let's go into the phone and see what happens when you call certain people. Now when you call dad, this will happen. Hi, it's your dad to get the next level. <laughs> I guess you don't need I don't need to tell you this anymore. Next week will be your birthday, Jordan. I'm trying very hard to be home for your big for that big day. I'll be sure to get you a good present. I've been following your adventures closely. I want you to hear about them in person. You should know you, should, you sound a lot a lot more mature over the phone. Well, I'll see you at home then. Bye. And what's that? When you call mom. Hello, Jordan. You can finally come home. So that means... Oh, thank heavens. 
You did it, you're safe. I'm not telling you what, for what you did, but anyways, if you come home, quick. I'll make you some pizza. Here, I'll see you the can. I can't wait to see your bright and sunny face. Yeah, Mom's looking forward to us. And when you call the Excargo Express... Hello, this is the Excargo Express. Tracy doesn't work here anymore. Yeah, she used to work part-time. Huh? This is Joden? Tracy's big brother? I've heard about the great work you've been doing. It's an honor to talk to you, sir. Oh, you're calling for a delivery? I'm very sorry. My wife is out of ma maternity leave, so I'm taking care of my other kid. I decided to take some, some time off the delivery business. It's right, it's right next to the fridge. Put it in the microwave. That's it. Sorry about that. I'm a little busy right now, as you heard. I really would like to hear some of your stories. Thox! That was the dog's food! Hey! Hey! Ah, uh, now look what you've done! I'm sorry! I have... I have to go... Grammar? Grammar, really? I have to... I, oh, no, never mind. I have to go. Goodbye. Uh, never mind my grandma. There you go. And we call the mock pizza. Hello, this is mock pizza. I delivered the man got tired and I quit. So we had decided to close in the shop. Thank you for considering all news and us for all of the needs your pizza and the pizza and the needs. Okay, so you're closing down because you cannot get any more staff. Wow, the staff must suck. Okay, um. So that's all the changes in Saturn Valley. So our next destination shall be at. We'll be at Winters. I'll see you there. In Winters, we have Maxwell, Tony, and the Bubble Monkey. If you go talk to Maxwell, he'll say this. Smith just called. He's with Dr. Ananas. The two of them may be able to develop a new scientific theory. You help me make a beautiful life for everyone. And when you talk to the Bubble Monkey, the Bubble Monkey's girlfriend. Ah, Jordan. My husband has been returning home late these days. He says he's busy. Yeah. I know he's not saving the Earth, but the marriage is also important. And when you talk to Tony. Smith doesn't call me. Maybe you think they're too annoying. But I don't think so. Jordan! Did you tell him not to call me? No! I know you wouldn't do that! If you see Smith, please, tell him to ask him please to call Tony. Thanks. Ugh. He's so anxious. Over here we have the bow monkey. If you talk to him, he'll say, I'm in the, I'm in the monkey community. Jordan is famous. You're such a great man. That is all the stuff we have over at Winters. Now, we will move on to... We will move over to Thread. Oh, actually, I forgot to do Thread. Um, we will move on to Thread. There is only one change in Thread. And Thread... And th now, if you do you remember this guy after you beat the zombies where the guy lost his key so he can get it back to his house? Well... He did. Well, now the key is broken and I can't get out. Don't bother yourself. I'll try to fix it on my own. If you can't get out, well... Would you like to call it prepare, man? If you can't get out, you can always jump out of your window. Then again, how do you get back into your house? Then again, you don't want to leave the window open because it will likely cause a bank. Really, that's all the changes in thread, so... With that being said, we shall move on to... The Summers. There are... There are only... F there, uh, there is at least five... Actually, yeah, five changes in Summers, if I remember correctly. Um, now, the first change that we want to go over is actually at the Stoda Club. If we head over... Now, we should make our way over to the Stoda Club and check out what that place was. That boring place. Over there is Club Stodic, or the Stodic Club. The words are still reversed after all these years. Because that's autocorrection. Now, if you go and knock on, if you try and get into the building, you'll see... It is now a truck shop. Absolutely no miners admitted. The man, the management, the lazy cow poke, stop and go. It is now a truck shop. Now, if you go, there's actually a phone call I haven't even made yet. Which is at the Stodic Club. So... 
if you go over here and make a phone call to the Stutter Club, this will happen. Yo, this is the Lazy Cow Pope Stop and Go. Yeah, we're a new truck stop. We just opened. What's that? The Stutter Club? That lame old place shut down ages ago. We totally remodeled the place. Now we got loud music, great food, and really rowdy crowds. Listen, buddy, I'm too busy to talk to you right now. Just drop by any time. You come. You enjoy. I promise. But it said no miners allowed. I really can't go in there. We can probably get away with it. These kids don't know too much already. So, the next... Okay, actually, there are technically only three changes so far. If you go into the museum... Now, our next changes are in the museum. All the changes will be in the museum that you would be here. Now, if you talk to this guy, he'll say this. And if you talk to that guy over there... It's nice seeing you in such good shape. I wonder how what Porky Pokey's doing. Yeah, that's the boy I met before. Is that a text error I'm seeing right there? I'm not sure if that's a text error, but apparently that's... Now, the change... Another change is actually up here. If you did not kill those two... If you did not kill these shattered men in this room, they will still be here. And if you get into a fight with them, they will... They will attack... They will... They will you'll be able to fight them, but if you die and get a game over, then your game will just glitch and free. That is all the changes in... That is all the changes in... The Summers. Our next destination shall be at... Our next destination should be at Dalam. I will see you there. Several changes that happens. Now, if you go... Now, in Dama... Pooh is, Poo is now home, but now... A lot of people are happy to see him. The man of the cliff there will fart. The man of the cliff there will just... Below the cliff will fart. If you talk the people of Dom will compare you to Chino. And there will be a girl you can talk to right here. She says, I wonder if Prince Chino succeeded in Moo training. I want him to come by and show me his best Bonnie impression. Now, that's really all we gotta show here. If you go over here. Now let's go pay Pooh a visit in the palace. See how he's doing. If we talk to the little lady over here, she'll say, Prince Dino has returned, everyone's still extremely happy. Please stay and relax. And if you go and if you go in the hallway, you will see that Chino is here. You are here! We have little, but stay and rest for a while. And you get healed even though you don't even need it. But I am impressed! You did so well for one who hasn't had much training. And if you talk to the master, as I fought, the prize will be full toward of our only chance for success. Please enjoy the rest of the head as a young yo as a That is really all the changes we have in Dalem, so next up we gotta change it. Scrabba. Scrap Scrabba, you there. I if I were here, I want to point out a little facts. Like I said, whatever could hurt you now will not hurt you now because of your oldest teeth. See this? If you just go in here, it will hurt you. And also, this isn't really a change, but this is something I didn't do, but I think I really need to do first before we move on. Now, what you got, what you want to do here is, um, trust me on this. You'll see why, why I'm going to do this later. So, we want to go heal, and we got to go talk to the doctor. Yes, we do. And he said I could pick up, he said I could pick up the fee. He asks you if you want, if you want him to pay for you, or you'll pay yourself. And you can say, 
and we want to let him pay. I can pay for you now. Doc, let the next patient pay, let the next... Please treat the next patient. Treat him right, okay? And... He whispers in your... Apparently whisper in your ear helps you heal up all your stats. You could have done this, but for some reason I couldn't figure out why I didn't do this one certain scene because I never got this one scene to happen, so... Yeah, I don't know why I did it. I guess I don't realize how to deactivate them. Which you'll know and you'll know it when we'll get when we, you'll know it when we'll get there. But that's what I want to do with Deep Darkness. Where I really want to go is at Tenda Village. I will see you there. In Tenda Village, there is something we can get back. Remember that shyness book that they borrowed? If you go talk to him, the book of overcoming shyness was very helpful to us. We've kept it for a long time, but I'll return it now. Thank you very much. And we got back the Book of Shyness. We'll turn later. So you can return this. Now that's barely all the changes in the lot that's the tent the village. And now we'll head to the lost underworld. I will see you there. In Tenda Village, there are only three changes. If you talk to one of the Tenda here, they'll say you guys help the upper tribe and the lower tribe and you gain unity again. Soon we'll be in one village again. Thank you. So now the tender are now considering to be for, to be uh, to unite with the other with the other tender up there. And there is a tender over at the hot spring over there. And if you talk to him, he'll say, "Hot springs rocks." He at first hated hot springs, but now he loves hot springs. Over here we have a tenant over here that will say this. Without dinosaurs, this place seems like it's missing something big. And they're acknowledging all the monsters disappeared. I guess they went back to a new extinction. But overall, that is all the changes in the Lost Underworld. Our next changes shall be in Foreside. So there's a few changes we have here in Foreside. And the first place to do it is actually another other in the fact the Montali building. Let's head inside. Let's head, let us head inside the Montali building and see what's there to be there. As you can see, it is the Montali building. It's been a while since we've seen it. When we head inside, look who's down here. The Montali himself. Let's go talk to him. Oh, Jordan! Damn! I'm Gedalag Matoli. Don't you remember me? I returned this building to Mr. Wrench Flavor. Now I'm working as an elevator man. I'm very happy and it's good to be alive. I heard many of your successes. So yeah. He is no longer the owner of the building. He returned it back to its former owner, Mr. Flavor and Wrench. Although the building says Motoli, though, though they're gonna need to start working on that. Why don't we meet this Mr. Wrench Flavor? Now, if you go over here, the elevator man would not mind. Well, as a little note right there, that music still plays when you go up the elevator. And the lady over there doesn't even mind having her hips being stared at. Alright, I'll cut ahead. Here is the new owner of the... Here is the new owner of the Motali building. Or the former owner, at least. Now, if we go talk to him, let's say hello to him. You brought this town back, a foresight back to life. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. This is Mr. Flavor and Rich. So, now let us move on to the cafe. Over by the cafe, we'll see a little change right here. Over here, we have a lady over here, they'll say this. Good evening, Eero. How about an espresso? Okay, but that's not the only scene here. Look at that guy. I wonder who he is. Oh, is not Pokey's dad? What's up with him? We haven't seen this guy, we haven't seen this guy since Foresight. We don't know what's become of him. Let's go talk to him and see what's up with him. 
stole it. Pokey left me with his own dad and just disappeared. If you see him, tell him he should take better care of his father. Don't tell my wife and all that I've been spending my time here. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Apparently he has no idea what Pokey's been up to. All you need to know is he's been a bad boy. That is all the changes in Foresight. Now... There is actually a change elsewhere. And that is actually in... Happy Habit Village. There's only one detail there, but... We're just going to show it. The only thing that really needs to be acknowledged here is... This cow. I have more respect for Mr. Carpenter than the others. Even if I do become someone's steak dinner, I'll still respect him. And... That is such a little cow. A very little cow. One more place to go. Starting things off in Omen, we got a lot of changes in Omen. So... To start off, let's start off with this yellow house. If you talk to this lady right here, she'll say, Listen to this! I finished Earthbound! Yep, she finished Earthbound. That's pretty... That's a good start for first two. Yep. Over by the police station over here, let's go talk to Mr. Strong. Over by Mr. Strong, he'll say this. So, you traveled all over the world. I bet you did a man more stronger than I, did you? I know you didn't. <laughs> um, I bet you that we did see someone... We, that we did see someone that actually... We actually did see someone that's actually strong. Guy guess. There's no way you could be... There, guy guess is pretty much stronger than you. The problem is some other officers are probably stronger than you as well, technically. Stat-wise. Back in Town Hall, we'll have Mayor Prickle here. If you go talk to Mayor Prickle, he'll say this. Oh, Jordan! I saw the picture in the French in the international newspaper of someone who looks like, like, like you. But there's no way it was you. Maybe like to study the city management techniques? That you could become so you could become mayor someday? Wahahaha! <laughs> so return to peace to your own in the town, I was re-elected mayor. Are you here to celebrate? No! Don't be shy. I should be so self-cautious. But if you ever say yes, he'll say... Thanks a lot! From this day forward until the day I die! I will dedicate my life to the peace and own it. Woohoo! Huh. Get a hold of yourself. Outside of City Hall, there's a guy who will tell you something. Frank's not in the arcade. He's in the hamburger, spot, hamburger shop smiling away. And over at the burger shop, there he is. There's Frank. Hello, sir. How am I? Huh? Aren't you, Jordan? After our battle, I've become serious. I've been working very hard. I've been doing some training for, for, well, a little bit of pro wrestling. It's the ring for me, baby. So, you made it back alive. You must have many stories to tell. Let's get together for a drink. When you have the chance, so I can hear your stories. I'm not talking about drinking mineral water. I'm still underage, you know. Ooh. I expect to be a bit older. Next door, we have the dog, and he'll say, Woof, woof. I'm roughing the dog. Here comes the spirit of the game dies again. You have finally, you're finally almost to the end of the game. If you want to tell me more, tell me your comments on this game, you may write me, you may write to me using the Nintendo's address on the box. Send your comments to Detention Earthbound, Ref the Dog. Now get ready for the ending. It's all that's left. Wow, 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 wow. Well, I told you some strange info again. I'll go back to be a normal dog now. Woof. Yeah, it's something you could do back, that was, this is something back in the SNES days. It will mean, this will mean very little to you today now. Back at the library, we can change. We can take back the over, the book of overcoming shyness. And when you give it to her, finally, you came back to return the book. Seems like you finished it. You're such a good boy. As a reward, I'll give you a kiss. Smack. She smacks you. Over here, we have the hideout gang again. If we talk to these guys, Joden, I've been thinking about our gang's name. It's about we'll laugh about it tomorrow. Do you like it? Yeah, that's actually a pretty clever name. 
My philosophy is peace to all men. Really? You like it? I knew you understand! Pretty clever. You, you seem to be given self-confidence. During your trip, were you, ever, were you popular everywhere you went? I'm jealous. I wish I was popular like you. Hi, Jordan. It's strange getting crowded in this hat house. I was considering moving to Beak's Point. What do you think? Good idea. Do you really agree? Let's build a strong, sturdy shack. Actually... Over here we have this shack we never did buy. You could buy this shack anytime you could in the game, but however, we never got, actually got the time to do it. But I think now's a good time to check it out. If we go over here to talk to this guy... Doesn't this house look good? You can buy for only $7,500. It has an ocean view. Folks should always have a place of their own. Do you want to buy it? Sure. Thank you. It's all yours now. It's time to relax. Move out of the way. And when we go inside the house, let's see what we have. Wow! This place is such an amazing house. I mean, we got like a, um... Of course, we have a bed that's not in very good condition, and a drawer that's open that has some interesting magazines. You found an old magazine. Are you going to read it? My Secret Life, Chapter 3. Story from the previous chapter. I was neither a murderer suspect, nor a target from an international spy organization, but I drove down the car down Jersey Turnback at 80 miles per hour. A police officer pulled me over and asked for my driver's license. He said I was going 20 miles per hour over the speed limit. I instantly pointed over to my wife and said, I'm in a hurry. My life is in labor. Fortunately, my wife actually had a big stomach. I hope you let me go with this excuse. Oh, since it's an emergency, I'll lead you to the hospital with my police car, he said. No, it's not necessary. Why not, asked the officer. Uh, well, let's get going, said the officer. No, no, we can't. This baby is a demon child. Okay, talk about rain. And actually... We actually have, and actually, there's one more scene they can actually do here, and that is, that's right, there was actually a photo we did not get with this guy yet. How about it? Our last photo for the game. Ready, guys? Let's start saying it. Say Fuzzy Pickles one more time. And, yep. So yeah, I did knew this place was here, but however, I didn't get to get to it yet. So yeah, that was interesting. So, let us head on out. And here we are in Pokey's house. In Pokey's house, there is a man here. If we talk to this man, let's talk to this man and see what he's doing in this house. Salutations! There was a boy living next door. I heard your family's in debt. Mrs. Smith told me about it. Well, live and learn. You just have to keep plug plugging away. As usual, you're wearing your grubby, so what do you want? My son isn't home now. He's walking around somewhere. Yeah, somewhere in a different era causing more trouble and making little kids cry. My husband is also gone. Oh yes, this is Mr. Pretty Man. He's always some great advice. He's a real demand to me. You'll be happy that you meet him. A little fat. They don't tell you this straight, it isn't told straight out, but however, I will, it is basically speculated that she has divorced Pokey's dad. So, which could explain why he's probably drunk at the cafe. And if you go talk to Picky, he'll say this. I haven't seen you in a while. You look cool. I'm nowhere near as cool as you. I'm just average cool. That's pretty much all we got here in Pokey's house. Back, and here we are. Back to where we began. The disaster called by the Manny Manny statue, where it was first found. And we have Mr. Liar still here. In this still exact spot. Let's talk to him. You've been ve you're being very vain, Jordan. Life is not that easy. You just saved the earth from a crack, so don't act so stuck up. When I was younger, I saved the earth too many times too. 
I live a modest life. That's the way it should be. Don't you think a real hero is someone like me? Yes. When you grow up, why don't you, be, why, why don't you come with my partner? We'll make lots of money. I'm not sure if I'm right, but I kind of want to believe that is intent from the original, from the original Earthbound, Earthbound beginning, which is also out in the virtual console in the eShop before. Feel free to check that out. Okay. So with that, that is everything and own it. Here we are, back home. As you can see, we didn't take Tam back. If you didn't do it, she'll say this. I really should go home. I shouldn't be just a runner and around here and there, don't you think so? Well, if you say yes, yeah, she'll, she'll just agree. If you say no, she'll say this. Well, okay. I guess I'll like to be with you. She'll just acknowledge that you want to go on. And actually, as a matter of fact, if you decide to end the game now without doing it, you can actually end the game with having Tam in your party. If you did not know this. Yes, it actually is possible for that to happen. Other dogs haven't figured out yet, but I know you guys saved the world. Okay, so let's just go ahead and talk to Mom real quick. This dialogue will not activate. It's good to meet you, Tam. After all your chats with the people and finally over, please come back here. I'm my brother and by. Look at it with you. Yeah, she so actually acknowledge Tam's existence right here. And here we got the phone going off. I wonder who will be calling. Hello! Is this the Jordan's residence? Is Jordan around? Ah, you're Jordan, right! It's me, the tough businessman. Remember, you see, now do you see why I decided to go go to that doctor in deep darkness? Yeah. If you did not do this, if you did this, you'll get... You can only get this dialogue if you talk, if you, if you done that doctor scene with the businessman and let him pay for you. I never got the money back that you borrowed. But, lucky you. I bumped into your dad and he paid the debt for you. I just wanted to let you know. Gotta go now. Busy, busy, busy. And with that... And with that... Our, our, our adventure is now over. Thank you for joining Let's Play Earthbound. It has been a fun RPG to enjoy. I've it, ha, it is such a charming game. I gotta say, I've I've enjoyed every funny moment of this game. It's just a very fun RPG, and I hope you guys liked it. And thank you for the long road that have people that have watched it. So, with that being said, we have. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next Let's Play. And our next Let's Play will be somewhere around the weekend or... Stay tuned for the tr stay tuned for the introduction of the Let's Play of Iron Lunas. See you guys then.